Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and brown coats to Rebel Galaxy Outlaw. And it's time to see what we've been up to between the episodes. Uh, so I'm going to continue and we'll get started. So I went out there among the mining belts and decided to go and grab lots of stuff away from those asteroids. Uh, I learned a few things along the way. Um, one of them is that basically iron ore is junk. <laughs> you might think it's useful. It's really not. Um, there is a few other things that you probably will find that is actually useful. So if you go into your uh, ship, um, I've got my cargo hold. I don't have anything in my cargo hold at the moment. Um, yeah, so the commodities market, let's just see if there's anything in here I want to uh, pay attention to. No, not really here or there either. There's basically one thing called obtaining ore. There's another thing called gold ore. Both of those are worth one to two grand each. By, per unit and then above that there are a couple more things uh, basically anything that starts with the word alien please pick up and go and sell it because yeah that's worth a heck of a lot more over 10 times more in fact so yeah that may be something that you want to actually do for yourself good tip to get started as you saw in the last episode one of the alien uh, artifacts sold for quite a lot of money so it's time I think it's time in every sort of space um pilot's career that the original garbage truck they got given it's just not enough anymore so we have the ability to buy the first upgrade so uh, currently we're, we own the platypus which doesn't look like anything like a platypus it looks more like a brick uh but we can upgrade to this which looks a lot better uh, the sonora one is faster by a little bit uh medium hull so presumably that's the strength of the hull not sure more importantly three weapon hard points two extra hold and a turret and maximum cargo rank two so i don't presume that's going to actually um affect the upgrades we can actually do so i've got 104,000, just about enough to actually buy a sonora and i think all the stuff should come across with me mm, let's see so let's go and buy this welcome see anything that catches your eye yeah and I i'm in the market for some new wings i don't know though this ah this yeah, uh, that's enough of the sales pitch. I had the sales pitch last episode. Yes, we've decided to make a deal. I can't even I can't even uh, barter though. I can't even say, "Yo, oh, give it to me for ninety grand and I'll take your lease package." But no, no, this salesperson is just like, "It's a hundred grand. That's it." Whatever so we'll take it. Is. Fantastic. Let me just get you the keys and complete the paperwork, and we'll get you settled in. I guarantee you won't regret this decision. Oh God, I love that new ship smell. Okay, so uh, yeah, we currently own this, and it seems if we want to switch back to the platypus, we can, but we get 100 grand for the trouble, so presumably we can only have one ship at once. Uh, that's fine. I don't really need to fly multiple ships in this kind of game, unlike X4 or something like Elite Dangerous. So yeah, we're upgraded to the Sonora, and now we have uh, basically some options. So if we go across into the equipment bay, let's see if stuff has been brought across. So weapons. Hard point A, yep, the mining laser. Hard point B, tracer. Hard point C, nothing there yet. So we will need to get that. Uh, and there is a turret. Let's see what options we've got for turret. Uh, they're all <laughs> more money than they can actually afford. So the the the, the terrible version, the, the cheapest one possible, is the laser turret, 8,500. Uh, so yeah, I'm clearly going to need to want to get at least this tracer turret, I think. Now, however, aside from the weapons, I also upgraded, uh, not the defense, the components, I upgraded the power plant. By default, you don't have any power plants in your previous ship. So I upgraded the power plant one. That means you can run your afterburners pretty much constantly with that first ship. Not sure what it's going to be like in this one. Um, without the power plant, you deplete your afterburn, either your power within, I don't know, about 10 seconds or so. This one, it can last, last like a minute beyond, which you're never going to need that, that amount of afterburners. So, yeah, that's pretty good. And we can obviously upgrade later once we get a little bit more money. Also, I got the cargo extender, the first version. 6,000 credits, and you get four tons or four spaces, if you like, in, in your cargo hold. And there are other ones uh, basically above that. Um... Sorry, the, the original one is 12 grand, but we're gonna get six grand back if we sell it. And then there's 40 grand, then 90 grand, etc. Uh, these uh, insufficient credits, yes, uh, 10 tons and 20 tons, respectively. So, yeah, useful on top of your original ship. He doesn't tell me if this is actually going to uh, cause any kind of problems 
with um, you know with the maneuverability of the ship or anything like that so I'm assuming it doesn't unless it tells me otherwise and everything else is pretty much fine uh, my next priority is gonna be basically a jump drive at some point and that's 20 grand so that shouldn't take very long to get um, before we do that uh, why don't we just head out Ooh, let's see what the surplus options are uh, the Transcellar Combat Laser. I'm not interested um, unless it's really, really cheap. Um, oh, I already have one in storage. That is my surplus, not what they trying to sell me. Never mind. Oh, well, thought they were going to try and sell me some extra stuff. So, back out we go. And it's time to go and fly our, um, our ship. So, we have a look at the mission board. Let's see if we've got any available missions. Uh, so there is probe coordinates. We didn't do one of those before, so we may as well do one of those. Basically, all you have to do is go to the certain coordinates and then you get the money if you do so. And there is local patrol. So routine patrol, investigate three designated coordinates, report any hostile activity. So both of those are probably worthwhile doing. And a simple cargo run, but that is to another system four jumps away. So we're not going to be able to do that just yet. I'm going to start just by doing both of these, I think, probe coordinates. We're going to try that first and see what it's like as far as this particular mission type. And let's see what we got. So, um, yeah. So, oh, in fact, no. Is that? Oh, it is in system. That's fine. It's near Amarillo. So, um, yep, yeah, that's fine. Is there anything else I want here? No, I don't think so. So, let's leave. Leave. And take off. So, here's our cockpit. But I'm not really going to be too concerned with that. We wanted to go to this view, which is kind of cool. Uh, you should get sort of a schematic of the thing as your reticle ahead of you. Uh, so, yeah, quite nice. Anyway, I'm going to head across to our mission and uh, let's see what we can find out there. Destination reached. Yep, so they're not friendly. Inbound. However... That's one down. And all we need to do is reach that coordinate right there, that yellow box, and we get this pretty much done. So I'm just going to boost there. We would not decline an offer of assistance. Looks like trouble. And mission, mission complete. complete. Assistance requested. Yep, so we're going to be heading out. And Missile away from the missile <laughs> mission area, if we can. And dodge. I'll see you back at the station. And given that was going to expose us to combat, I thought uh, one thing I did forget is that I do have that surplus uh, weapon mount, so I may as well put that on that we already have, a combat laser in storage, so we'll just install that. And now we have three guns, all of which are different kinds, and the mine laser is really not going to help that much. Um, but uh, yeah, combat laser, I guess. Yeah, I guess we could swap it out. Yeah, so let's just buy that install it and then the mining laser should go to surplus no i don't want to sell it because uh the mining laser is generally very useful it's probably more useful for actually getting um uh money to get started with than the actual combat lasers are so i've got two uh combat lasers and one tracer fine that's good enough for now that's probably a good point for us to go and investigate to our sort of friend in the main mission uh yep and uh let's go and speak to him so I'll just escape through. In fact, I'll turn off these uh, cutscenes now, just so you don't have to be seeing those. Uh, but yeah, do bear in mind, if you're playing it yourself, they are kind of cool. So time to head to our mission, hijacking. Unfortunately, you still get to do the in-flight cutscenes. And here we are. So let's see what unfolds. Boost in. All right, this is the spot. They ought to pass through here any minute. You just hang back while I broadcast the codes and work the old Richter charm, and then we can be on our way. You'll it's forgive me if I'm gonna a little go just fine, isn't it? Yep. Craft entering the area. Let's slow ourselves down. There they are. Watch the master work. <laughs> yeah, watch your work. Craft. This is Brust Arms Hauler T-78 en route to Lubbock. Please maintain a safe distance. T-78, good to see you. This is Richter Brust. 
Looks like we have a misshipment included in your manifest, and I'm here to correct the error. Ah, uh, Mr. Brust. Uh, sir, is there any auth code for this transfer? We don't have any record of it. Broadcasting now. The package identifier is, let's see, MKJ-47. Everything should be in order. Uh, one moment while we verify that code. Yeah, just just stay right there. Just, yeah, I, I'm just gonna go and check on the phone with some someone else. Um, yes. I got a bad feeling about this. Mr. Brust, we've got a negative response on that auth code and an addendum that reads, under no circumstances are you to grant any requests made by Richter Brust. Why, that son of a... Is that for my damn brother? Listen, this is just a miscommunication. I've got the codes. I repeat, the auth code is denied. Mr. Brust, please give way and let us pass on by. Well, what now, genius? We're only gonna get one shot at this. Listen, I hate to say this, but you're gonna have to scare it out of him. What? This is your party. You do it. The last thing I need is a bounty on my head. I don't have a rich big brother to buy it out. Look, I need the plausible deniability on my black box. This is my family company. I can't be firing on one of the freighters. You son of a bitch. I should have let Orzu keep his damn ship. Listen, T-78, I don't want to have to do this. I need you to eject that requested package and move along. I can't let you leave without it. Negative, unidentified craft. Be advised we are contacting combat support. Aggression against this vessel will be met with force. Yeah, here we go. That means mercenaries. You're gonna have to get a move on. Well, shit. T-78, I say again, eject that package. Neither of us wants this to go any further. Combat support inbound. Hostile craft entering the area. Okay, I guess it's gonna be a fight then. Take a bite out of this. What now? Next. Ah, oh, that's not locked. Never mind. Let's keep going. Ah, uh, there's someone behind me. Why don't we just uh, go and shoot you? Ah, oh. some of the one down. I got luck. And three. Are we gonna go four for four? Hopefully. Four for four. Hold your fire, hold your fire. We will comply. Looks like we're in the clear. Come on now, scoop it up and let's get the hell out of here. One container down. Two containers down. And we should be able to track, oh well, basically gather the stuff. So some robot warriors. Okay. And package MKJ47. Got it. And some more robot warriors. Thing? Anything else? All right. We'll meet at the same Oh, I don't spot. want a contraband. Until then, fly quiet like. Asshole. But I will, um, can I actually just change target? Hmm, let me just grab the contraband and I'll show you how to get rid of it. Got it. Yeah, so it says basically you can go into the submenu of your PDA. Okay, so press B. And if you have a look here across in cargo hold, you can see things that are contraband. So you click on those and you press right and you press enter and it just gets rid of them. You'll see those robot warriors basically get us 3,375 each, and there's two of them, so that's another six or seven grand for a main mission. But we do have to deliver this package. So, yeah, I guess we will have to go and autopilot back to the station. So, let's head out and skip out of that transition. Yeah, I'm distressed. No, we're not risking that. Destination reached. And here we go. Destination reached. So, let's tab forwards. And we should get an option to dock. Docking request received. Automatic landing. 
Now, I didn't press escape then, but there was no actual transition. I've turned that off in the options. So only this kind of loading screen appears, and it's not really a loading screen. You can use it immediately as soon as it appears. So it's only really the autopilot transitions that are still there, and you can escape those just by pressing escape and skipping through them. So on the concourse, I guess we go go, and go to the bar and uh, go and speak to uh, go and speak to our, our sort of friend and acquaintance. Um, if there's a bar here, is there not a bar here? Hmm, let me just refill my audience first of all. Yep, more missiles. That will do. And where is... Uh, is this not the station? No, I thought it was. One second. No, I just missed the option. It was right at the very start. There we go. Time to speak to Richter. All right, I know what you're going to say. But all's well, it ends well. Right. It's a real mystery that you aren't a CEO, Richter. A real mystery. That's what I've been saying. So, that package has taken up room in my cargo hold. Where am I dropping this off? Orzu's casino is in the Nevada system. Just skedaddle on over there, kick it out the back, and it's out of your hair. I wish I could say it's been a pleasure. Oh, come on now. You love my roguish charm. I gotta say, you're good in a scrap, and I'm not a bad guy to know. I know you're trying to fix up that hunk of junk. Tell you what, if I hear of anything you might be interested in, I'll let you know. There could be some credits in it. Uh-huh. See you around, Richter. Okay, so it says new buddy on available, Richter. So maybe he will actually get us, ah, be able to assist in flight, but it'd be nice if we also get some missions from him in the future. And uh, that's pretty much it for the bar. I'm not going to worry about 8-ball or anything like that. Um, we're now, uh, well, down to 2,857, but we should be able to sell those commodities. Yep, so we can sell both of those. The sell price is less than they're worth a little bit, but I'm not really willing to hunt around for that kind of thing. So we'll get up to 8,700. And now my sort of, in order to make this delivery, <laughs> it's stuck in my cargo hold, unfortunately. So it is consuming one of my 16 space. Remember we have 14, but sorry, 12 plus that four cargo extender. So we can't really do much with that right now until we have a jump drive to be able to make the delivery. So jump drive is the next option uh, to do. And I think to do that, we're either going to do a patrol or two, or I'm just going to go out. Uh, and let's be honest, if we go to the equipment bay, weapons, we can just go and do the same thing again with a mining laser. So if I can just go back here, install the mining laser, and we can head out there to an asteroid belt and see if we can get anything worth some money. So I'm not sure if I showed this in the previous episode, but if you press M, you can see the in-game map, and the stations are the outlined here and here, etc., stuff like that. But there are these green spots in between them in each system, and each of them is a different thing. You'll see I've already explored some of these here, and they're all different, obviously, names, but these are asteroid belts. And then there's a couple of here, like Unknown, uh, Suzuma, Nebula, and Unknown. So why don't we just go for one of those, and hopefully it's not going to be terrible and cause me to have some problems. But if I highlight this, I should see that outline to be able to see where I need to go over here. And let's head that way. Destination reached. So this is a nebula, and let's just scan using my control menu. Hostile. Hmm, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good at all. Should we stay on course? Stay on target? Um, okay. <laughs> let's go and see what it is. And see how just overpowered it is from, uh, from me. And uh, let's skip forward until we actually get to it. Xander Brass. It's my understanding that you've helped yourself to some property which rightfully belongs to Brust Arms, probably at the behest of my idiot brother. Hello there, Mr. Brust. I'm not sure how you found my comm ID, but... Please, Miss Markov, don't make the mistake of conflating either my tenacity or my resourcefulness with that of Richter. We couldn't be more different. I suggest you calibrate your response accordingly. All right, so you're calling me, and I'm not dead. What's your angle, then? Consider this my marker. I will call it in in one of two ways. Either compelling your cooperation, or ensuring your elimination. When the time comes, you can decide which it will be. Until then, goodbye, Ms. Markev. Hm. I think the coast is clear. I don't have time for this. Come on. There we go. Okay, so we got basically 
stuff that uh, from pirates and we can eject them if we don't want it anymore uh, or we can go after yet more pirates i guess but we also got contacted by the brother of the guy who hired us and that did not work very well so yeah um i'm gonna go and gather stuff up see if i can actually actually retain any of this stuff i'm not quite so sure uh, is that stuff over there hmm hard to see except on the radar and uh yeah so i'm gonna keep on having a look out here See if I can gather some stuff to sell, and I'll see you once I can afford that jump drive, I think. Occasionally, while you're out here, you will find, um, when you destroy pirates, green boxes appear on the screen that if you lock onto them will say something along the lines of bounty. And basically, you, <laughs> when they eject, you can take them right out of space using your tractor beam, and you have citizens arrest. So you have two citizens arrest. Basically, people I tracked it into my cargo hold and uh, I'm taking them with me. So that's, a, that's another option if you really want to uh, get some money from pirates. I can't help it. My EVE Online roots mean I just keep wanting to extract gold. More gold? Got it. Pure water? Pure water is definitely... Oh, darn. Uh, I'm going to need to get rid of something. Uh, I've got six iron ore. Let's get rid of all of you, please. Yeah, let's go. And I don't want the iron ore. I want the pure water. Uh, can I change target? Iron ore, pure water. Yep. Press T to change target. And there we go. Can we find anything else other than that? Uh, yep, yeah, some more pure water. There we go. And anything else? Ooh, obtaining more. And you will take another pure water as well while we're at it. There we go. And let's take a look at how much that costs. So pure water is three grand a piece, and we got three of them. We got seven gold ore. We're at uh, eighteen hundred a piece, and one obtainium. Not unobtainium, just regular obtainium. And that's uh, nearly three grand as well. So that's more than enough for us to go back to any particular station. Doesn't really much matter which one we choose, and then go and uh, hopefully upgrade to a um, a jump drive. So let's head there now. Got it. Oh, that was iron ore. <laughs> e is both the uh, the key for the key for cargo uh, cargo uh, capture via the tractor and autopilot. Autopilot it is now. There we go. And let's head inside. Clearance granted. Criminals removed to detention times two. That's 500 credits. Not really worthwhile carrying them. There are a ton each. Um, yeah, for some reason, that's just the cargo units. So uh, here we'll go to the uh, commodities and let's see how much the actual sell price is. Um, they're not too bad. Um, yeah, so let's just sell them all. Let's see how much our profit is. So right now we're nine grand. Let's just sell all of these. All of you, all of you. So we're at 28 grand. That will do fine. So if we go to Equipment Bay, we're going to refill the ordnance, just some missiles, and then let's go across to Components, all the way to the end, uh, Jump Drive, and it is 20,000 credits. Let's buy the Jump Drive. Jump Drive installed. Okay, so from here, we should be able to leave the system um, without doing anything else. Uh, we could look to see, uh, let's just take a look at the map. Can we see the map from in here? No, uh, we can't. Why don't we just why don't we just leave for a second? Let's launch and take a look at the map. So uh, we want to get to the sector map. So we are in Texas and that delivery is all the way over in Nevada over here. But if we're going to go through this, we want missions for New Mexico, Colorado or Montana, basically, and do deliveries anywhere along the way. Uh, I'm not sure just how appropriate it is to do the main mission at this particular point. Apparently, it can get quite hard quite quickly. So uh, what we may want to do is build up funds and build up our ship to be much better along the way and you can see you already see what stations there are here and um yeah the other thing i'm not sure if i mentioned before if you, but if you go into the map and you hover over station you can see exactly what it produces and what it actually needs you can see it on the right hand side so both of those are sort of useful information but you have to go and visit the stations to be able to get that out of there anyway let's go and see if we can actually go through 
to the next system. So uh, we are looking for... Uh, that's the New Mexico jump gate. So yeah, that's the next one. First of all, I'm just going to see if there's any deliveries. I'm going to just take a quick hop around the stations, including this one, and see if there's anything in New Mexico for us to grab. We're going to dock. Yeah. There we go. See you in a minute. And here we are, here's the mission. It's not in New Mexico, it is in Nevada where we need to go anyway, but it does pay 6,200 for five hold space, so we can do that. There is another one here as well in uh, blockade delivery, but it's high risk, 12,100 pirate activity in the immediate vicinity of New Vegas Casino in the Nevada system. So yeah, uh, I'm just gonna take the sort of normal one at the moment. And so we have some of our cargo space in use, but we will get six grand if we make it well, we make it <laughs> successfully. And that's probably going to be the next episode. But before we actually go on to the next episode, I am going to, of course, head through the system and we'll see if there's any kind of nice little, um, well, nice little cutscene to move us between systems or indeed what the, uh, the, the jump gate looks like. So let's go and take a look. It's going to be right there. So, yep. In fact, we can just follow the, uh, the main mission, which is the solid rectangle and Head that way. Destination reached. Okay, here we go. So this is the jump gate. Um, let's just accelerate into it. Because that's always wise. Jump to New Mexico. God, it's like getting hit by a truck. Missile inbound. Oh, nice. Missile oh, inbound. Man, right at the gate. This is bad. Yeah, you just try and shake this. Yeah, exactly. Fall back and return with an army of the just. And let's see if we can take this guy out. Shouldn't be too hard, I don't think. Not at this range, anyway. Come on. So yeah, they went down. And uh, yeah, we can uh, carry on to the next available uh, sort of jump gates or we can go to this area so there's a couple of different things uh, an outpost which is just sort of a resupply point really uh, a couple of different jump gates and of course a uh, hub station so why don't we just pick up the um useful information from stations along the way just so that we have financial information and stuff like that and uh yeah unfortunately like in x3 or x4 you can't just buy um upgrades that let you uh, see that remotely uh that would be quite nice at least not that i know of so far so we're gonna head in and that should be docking for this episode so hopefully you enjoyed it seeing some of the main mission and we're gonna head towards uh, the rest of that main mission next episode in nevada system and uh, if anyone is following Judo along Marquez. feel free to looking for a green light on a docking bay Thank you. Feel free to put in the comments below if you've got any tips and tricks for other people playing through. And we'll see you next episode for some more Rebel Galaxy Outlaw. As always, guys, feel free to subscribe, click on the like button if you've enjoyed it. And as always, thanks for watching.